Velocity Vortex. A team consists of two driver operators, a coach and a robot. The robot must be built for materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing cube. After the match starts, the robot may expand. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Your alliance partner for one match may be your opponent in another. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot high walls. At opposite corners of the field are two corner vortices, red and blue. Between them is the center vortex, which can freely rotate. Four beacons are mounted on top of the field walls. Below each beacon is a unique vision pattern for navigation. A white tape stripe leads up to each beacon. The field is divided by red and blue tape stripes. The Velocity Vortex game includes particles that are 3.75 inches in diameter. There are also two cap balls 21 inch in diameter. The cap balls are placed in the center vortex assembly. Teams place their robots on the field, touching the wall in front of their alliance stations. They may preload one or two particles, up to three per alliance. Before the match, field personnel randomize the four beacons. The match begins with a 30-second autonomous period. Robots can only operate by pre-programmed instructions. If a robot presses a beacon button matching its alliance color, the alliance is awarded 30 points. Also, an additional particle will be added to the field before the driver control period begins. A cap ball in contact with the floor will earn an alliance 5 points. Each particle scored through the center vortex earns 15 points, and particles scored into corner vortices earn 5 points each. At the end of the autonomous period, if a robot is parked partially on the center vortex base or corner vortex ramp, that alliance is awarded five points each. If a robot can park fully on the center vortex base or corner vortex ramp, the alliance is awarded 10 points each. After the autonomous period ends, the field personnel introduce additional earned particles into the field. Then the two minute driver controlled period begins. Now each particle scored through the center vortex earns five points. Particles scored into corner vortexes earn one point each. During the driver controlled period, alliances may capture or recapture a beacon. Whichever color is lit up at the end of that match earns that alliance 10 points. The last 30 seconds of the driver controlled period is the end game. During this time, robots may lift the cap balls to earn extra points. If your robot is holding a cap ball off the playing field floor at the end of the match, your alliance is awarded 10 points. But if your robot can lift it above the center vortex crossbar, your alliance earns 20 points. And if a center vortex is capped, that alliance gets 40 points. The game manual also lists various penalties to help ensure fair gameplay. For example, robots may not descore a capped ball. A robot may not extend above 29 inches before the end game. A robot may not damage the playing field. A robot may not pin another robot. This has been a brief summary of the Velocity Vortex game and does not include the latest updates. Please carefully read the game manual and the game forum for the complete rules. We want you to have fun and be competitive, but please remember gracious professionalism, both on and off the playing field. Have fun and good luck this season. Go First Tech Challenge.